This is an updated version of my universal battery charger kit where I show you how to set it up and answer most of the common questions I've had before as well as introducing new kits uh, with which you can charge any lithium ion batteries with more than two points of contact. And if you find this video helpful, please share, subscribe and like it and comment so it can rank higher to help others like yourself to find this video easier. Alright, I'll go through this quickly, the setup of this uh, battery charging regulator. So I've got this uh, wired up. The output which goes to the battery are these two wires. Now, um, the way I've set it up at the moment is just I'm just holding it with a um, crocodile or alligator clamps like this. This is a six inch clamp. Now, you could use smaller versions. You could use these, uh, but these are very small. So you might struggle to clamp across the uh, connections of the battery. Uh, this is my battery, uh, the, the drill, battery operated drill. It is a 12 volt battery. I'll just pick this as an example. It could be any of these type of drills. Uh, one of the questions everybody asks me is, uh, is this good, is this regulator good for uh, lithium ion batteries uh, or is it for nickel cadm cadmium batteries? The battery I show in my previous video, in my uh, original video and this one, these are nickel cadmium batteries, but this is also good for lithium ion batteries. So either one, it will work as long as the batteries have uh, connect two connections like this positive and negative now this one you might think you have a third connection third plate here but when you open this I've actually opened this I'm not going to waste your time here by just opening and showing you when you open that that's not connected to anything um, that was one of the questions that people asked me uh, the third connection people say that this is for regulating the current that's bullshit <laughs> That's nonsense, it has nothing to do with current. Uh, these uh, batteries inside the cells inside this uh, pack are all connected in series, positive to negative, positive to negative, and all the way. So you have uh, two ends basically. In the end, you have a negative and a positive. In this case, this side is negative, this side is positive. Uh, so the third plate is not actually connected to anything. As long as your battery is this type, whether it's lithium ion or nickel cadmium, it will uh, work. But if you have more than uh, two, uh, or practically three uh, plates or connections, then uh, the, the batteries that have uh, slots that connect to the battery charger, and your battery charger doesn't work, or you've lost it, or whatever happened to it, uh, for those you can't use this you cannot use this type of regulator because with this you only have two connections positive and negative with those you have to connect uh, all the connections to all the cells basically uh, and those are these two uh, battery regulating boards that I will introduce in my next video and I'll show you how they work I'm not gonna uh, mix these two videos together so that will be a next video if you have those kind of batteries types of batteries that have more than two or they have slots basically two more than two connections or three connections those cannot be charged with this regulator they have to be charged with regulators of this type and these are definitely lithium ion batteries and they're not good for this type of uh, these packages and I'll show you how to set up those but with this back to this one right, I'm just gonna measure this voltage I know uh, anybody who is an electrical engineer would know that you can't measure the real value of a battery with a uh, voltmeter because you need a load uh, connected to the battery before you can measure the voltage because the, the voltage you measure is not real 
practical or effective voltage. But just to show you the polarity, because some of these batteries, if the battery pack is old, you might have uh, no sign or indications of uh, the polarity of the battery. So to determine that, you can just connect the uh, probes of the, battery, the voltmeter after you set it to a DC voltage. Uh, connect that. Uh, if you get like this, uh, it shows minus 13 point eight volts uh, then uh, that means I've connected the polarity wrong so this shouldn't be negative this should be positive and mm, this way basically so if you read the positive value 13.78 then this side is positive this side is negative black is negative red is positive so that's for that uh, as far as the polarity so now this one is positive this one is negative my regulator is connecting positive red to this end and ne negative to this end. So I'm, I'm used using this uh, six inch clamp. You could use a smaller clamp like this. I know some people have ordered a uh, three inches clamp. I don't know if that was a mistake or what, but because I've put different sizes of clamps on my um, website in the store, uh, so anybody can choose for various reasons for various uh, applications, but you can use this I'm not saying you can't um, but it's a little bit uh, tight and uh, Difficult to to get there. Uh, this is although this is two and a half inches uh, I've got three upward three inches upward. This is a six inch when when I say the the measurement that is the length of the uh, clamp is not how big of the gap the clamp opens. It shows that with pictorial diagrams in the uh, store uh, on that, under that item, wh whatever you choose, it gives you all the details. So it's all self-explanatory. Uh, anyway, if I just connect this to this battery, so what I'll do, just um, that uh, regulator is connected, the output uh, is connected to the terminals, positive and negative, negative is in the middle um, and positive out, outside uh, terminal. If I connect that to this, then this will be powered up by the battery, so that the board is powered up by the battery. And then you can see the relay turning on, you can hear the clicking and the, the LED coming on and that shows 10 volts. We measured with the voltmeter 13.8. Well, here it shows 10 volts uh, going to 9.9. .9. So that is more of a realistic value of the power than than that voltmeter, obviously, because you have that board itself has a, a resistance. It's, it's working as a load, although it's not exactly the same as or equivalent to the load or resistance of the motor of the drill. So. Uh, still not exactly right, but it is as uh, accurate as it should be. Uh, and then you have two buttons here. One is for low set value and high set value or high stop and low stop. So uh, if at the moment you can see the relay is on. Uh, we haven't connected the power supply. This is my power supply and I've set it on 12 volts because my battery is 12 volts and uh, it's pretty accurate with this knob, it's pretty accurate with those dials uh, because I've measured them I know uh, they're accurate. So without connecting that to this at the moment I just set it up. Um, if I just go to the uh, load, it, it, it press that button, hold it down, it starts flashing and then you can adjust it with this and that. It can go up or down. If I go up, uh, let's see what happens. let's say 13 volts and I'll leave it it'll flash a few times and then uh, it's set so you can see the relay is still on if your voltage measure the, the voltage that's measuring here is 9.8 when it's supposed to be 12 volts and you can see the relay is on uh, because it's less than what it should be because my maximum stop level is 14, right? So now I'll set that, we can set that to anything. 
uh, again press and hold it down it starts flashing then you can adjust with these two going up or down so I'll just say uh, I'll stay on uh, 14 volts uh, although this is 12 volts but I go a little bit higher because uh, when it gets to 12 volts the relay might be switching on off on off on off on off all the time but it might affect the durability of the relay and it might affect the lifetime basically of the board and the battery so that way it's best best if you just adjust the voltage a little bit higher than the voltage of the battery that's supposed to be charged to and that's what they do anyway if you give it to somebody else to charge it for you that's what they do they put a higher value a little bit and um, uh, the low low voltage is set on 13 volts so anything below that basically starts char charging but as soon as it hits 13 then it should stop charging but if it goes down again it'll start charging um, but the stop is 14 so you give yourself a, like a volt or two volts to play some of the batteries that you, uh, you might have uh, laid in your shed or whatever your workshop for a long time it might be really dead that might not be able to power this up because this board like I said is powered up by the battery not the power supply so I, as, as, as you can see I haven't even connected the, the power supply to the board yet if that's the case I would say without even connecting this to you can you can have it connected or not connected the board to the battery if it's connected like this and you don't want to mess up uh, the connection you can just connect the uh, negative and positive negative uh, is connected to this terminal anyway and this is connected to the negative of the output anyway so it's just direct connection the positive the positive of the power supply instead of connecting it to that which is what where you have to connect it for charging as and, and you can see 9.9 .9 is going down without the power supply connect connected to it 9.8 now it keeps going down because it's consuming the uh, battery as as it's connected it's a load but when you connect that as soon as you connect it you see it just goes up immediately it just starts going up because it's, it's now charging it um, but if like I said if the battery is very uh, very much dead and it's not even powering it up there is a chance you can revive and revitalize that battery if you could if you wanted uh, to try this if you're trying to revive a battery uh, with the uh, power supply and like I said if the battery is dead you might find it easier it just put the power supply voltage the value of the voltage a, a, a lot higher maybe even double the size of the battery as, as it should be let's say if this battery is supposed to be 12 volts like it is um, then you need to probably uh, put that on 24 volts and just connect it a few seconds and just give it a little bit of a zap and pa uh, boost it then uh, obviously disconnect it and put it down to where it should be like 12 volts 14 volts maximum and then connect the regulator to it as, as it should be then it should uh, power up the board and so you can set it up and then connect the charger that way so now it's under the charge you can uh, rest assured this battery will charge uh, I don't know how long will it will take again that's another question people ask um, how long does it take well I don't know how long is a piece of string I can't tell you because it depends on your battery how much it has on it and how bad it is how, how dead it is really how flat it is so this is it, uh, the setting up of this type of regulator. Uh, again, this regulator is designed for lithium ion batteries and nickel cadmium batteries. You can charge even car batteries with it. Uh, it takes up to, I, I think it's 30 amps um, and up to 24 volts, I think. I can't remember off the top of my head, but you can see all the details on my uh, website in the store and there are other 
related items that people like to buy, you know, amplifiers and things like that. But uh, this is a good thing to have. However, uh, as I uh, mentioned earlier, one of the questions um, has been, what about batteries with slots? Um, power, power tools that has battery packs like this with slots uh, with more than two connections or more than three if the third co connection is not really connected to anything like mine in my case uh, then you'll need different type of regulators now those type of regulators I have and I will go through these in a different video and I'll show you how they're connected up and how they work so that's this is one of them and, and this is a different one now, I'll show you in a different video I don't want to mix it all up in this one video this was a redone version of my pre previous video and explaining everything and answering all those questions that people keep asking and I'll end up having to comment and answer those questions uh, if there's any more questions, please drop in the comment uh, below. Um, read the descriptions and please share and comment and um, like and subscribe um, just to make my channel rank higher and also help other people like yourself find it and help those people basically. Thank you very much again and goodbye. Until next time, I'll see you with another video. Bye-bye.